Hey yo, what's up everyone? We are just a few days away from the iPhone 15 event. We have heard so many rumors about the iPhone 15 throughout the whole year. But now it's time for the full rundown of the final most likely and most important leaks and rumors confirmed by Mark Gurman himself. Mark Gurman is a seasoned tech journalist who has a long history of accurate reporting on Apple's product plans. His reports are closely watched due to their accuracy. So, without further ado, here are the final most important leaks and rumors. iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max will get new titanium chassis. The result is that it will be 10% lighter in weight, more durable and doesn't attract as much fingerprints as stainless steel sides. The edges where the glasses meet the metal sides will be more rounded. It will reduce the sharpness of the edges and make the phone more comfortable to hold. The displays of both Pro models will look perceptibly larger due to their reduced bezels, which are about one-third smaller. Here it is compared to previous iPhones. Next up, iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max will get the new A17 Bionic processor which will improve performance and enhance battery life, whilst the 15 and 15 Plus will get a 16 Bionic chip from last year's iPhone 14 Pros. Action button will replace the mute switch and enables us to do quick actions without unlocking our device, such as turning on a focus mode, starting a voice recording, opening Siri shortcuts, and many more. Standard iPhone 15 and 15 Plus will feature 48 megapixel main camera for the first time, whilst the 15 Pro and Pro Max will get periscope zoom camera that can perform much further optical zoom. In addition, the telephoto and ultra-wide sensors of the 15 Pro and Pro Max will feature more megapixels than their predecessors, increasing beyond 12 megapixels for the first time. German also reiterated that all models will get the dynamic island for the first time. Plus, the entire iPhone 15 series will switch to USB-C charging port. The iPhone 15 event will be held on September 12, 2023 at 10 a.m. Pacific time. You can watch the event on the Apple Events webpage Apple's YouTube channel and also on Apple TV app, all of which I will leave the links in the description below. And of course, I'm gonna cover the event. I'm going to make videos about everything that will be announced in that event. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss everything that Apple will announce. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.